Hey guys, this is Danny. Um, I just wanted to demonstrate what these uh, new MIDI controls do in the preferences. Uh, they're on by default, which is great, but I'll just turn them off so uh, I can show you what used to happen. I've got at the top here Helium, and it's got a little beat, and it's going to trigger the pads. Now you'll see that what's happening is, as every pad is being triggered, it's actually changing in the interface, which means it's really, really difficult if I want to change the volume of, say, that snare, or pan it, or pitch it, or whatever. If I click it manually, it's getting changed un from under me. Um, so the first setting, what it does is it stops MIDI to, from selecting pads in the interface. So now I can manually go to a different pad, change it, and work on it um, while the beat's still playing, which I couldn't do before. So um, that's super handy. The other thing is um, these, when you tap them, obviously they start recording. Um, now, if I was to go to, I've set up some custom uh, things here. So let's say I want to record here, if I tap it, this is the same as hitting a keyboard shortcut. So if I press play and it's looping, if I was to draw a pad here, you see that it's recording and then it stops recording. Pad here and then it plays back. Pad here. <laughs> so um, the good thing about that is that you can have perfectly like lengthed uh, recordings by using an external sequencer but it also means that if I was to accidentally touch a bunch of pads if I'm not actually doing that purposefully then um, pads start just recording on their own so what this will allow you to do is um, not record when external MIDI is triggering the pads so now if I hit these pads or if I replay with that note which recorded previously it's not recording anymore i can still record by hitting the button uh but it won't record it won't record um see it's actually still pr pressing the button to play it back but it's not going to trigger a recording um so that's it really they're, they're the two settings um they're quite handy if you use an external sequencer um, it also means if you've got like a hardware controller, like a keyboard or whatever, hitting these keys aren't just going to randomly start recording. Um, it's the same thing. So if I if I do that, so then it starts recording. Um, I don't know where to see it. It's recording down here. Um, so yeah, that's that. And I'll see you around. Cheers.